I'm kind of teary-eyed right now. You are the potter, and I am. I am the clay. Wow, what what an amazing song the Lord placed that in my spirit to play for our young people out there because they need to know that, you know, God, God will keep them in his care. And during this holiday season, every child wants something special for the holiday. So we are, you know, encouraging and motivating our parents and families out there to understand what this season is about. It's this season is about. It's it's giving and sharing, and it's also uh, the main reason of celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Good morning, everybody. I'm Simone Malone. I, I'm, I'm a real person, folks. I'm a real person. And for those of you that see the live video as well, I thank you so much for listening in and making this a great radio station over this past year and supporting what I do and making this show a highly listened radio show across the country. I thank you, uh, California. I thank you, Africa. We have listeners all over the world that tune into this program um, because they know that they're going to receive inspiration at its highest peak uh, because God is using me in this season. And to all of our new listeners, <clears throat> we thank you for tuning in uh, to FMHDMS Radio. We're celebrating 10 years. Um, I've been in radio for about 28 years, so I'm getting ready to celebrate the 30th anniversary of my work. But um, we thank God for 10 years that God has allowed us to be here as an African-American owned and operated radio station, you know, with all of the ups and downs and all of the financial issues, God has kept us, has sustained us to be able to function and to deliver quality uh, music to you of a six format radio station. I'm not knocking other internet radio stations, but we are among the first here in Philadelphia uh, that started internet radio and 10 years ago. Uh, God placed it in my spirit. So anyhow, just want to get some things out before I get into this word. Uh, the Lord gave me this inspiration a moment. And many of you know that watch uh, the live videos on my YouTube channel, Trusted Voice and Radio. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go there and subscribe to me. Simone Malone, uh, if you punch me up, you should see me. Trusted Voice and Radio. It's all one word. Do not separate me. Please don't because I'm together. So <laughs> anyhow, it's Trusted Voice and Radio. You could go to, to my YouTube channel. I'm on Instagram as Trusted Voice and Radio and uh, post it. I put there as well. I'm getting better with Instagram. My intern was saying, you improve, you improve. And that's what it's all about. But uh, you could go right there. And then, of course, for those of you that are my friends on Facebook and follow me, I thank you as well. You'll get a chance to see the live uh, video as well. Because one of the things that we do when we're live on the radio and I'm spotlighting people, um, interviewing people and talking to people over the phone, live you get a chance to see the live video it's not edited or anything it's fresh and first folks don't you like things fresh and first when you when you eat your fruit and eat something healthy you want it fresh and you want it first right so we give it to you that way it's not rehearsed or anything you get Simone just as I am and that's what radio and TV is all about you know a lot of times they do editing the things and some things you have to do that for but here uh, you get it fresh and first whether it's perfect or not the point is is that you're getting the message and I'm the deliverer that God has anointed me to share words of inspiration and encouragement so again if you're celebrating a birthday for the month of December happy birthday to you my father celebrated his birthday with saluting Van Brown of FMHDMS Radio, my sister for the month. Uh, my mother would be celebrating her birthday in heaven uh, on December 25th. My mother was born and she would have been 76 years old. So I know the angels are rejoicing and she's shouting the victory. And then we give God the praise for her life um, because I certainly carry my mother's mantle who was an evangelist in the church of God in Christ. Now, I want to talk a little bit about health before I get into uh, this powerful inspirational moment. You know, it's all about taking good care of yourself. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was telling some friends, and, and people, you know, I, was, I usually take off the radio when I don't feel my best as far as my voice and because uh, my voice is vital to the kingdom of God. So when you're sick, folks, you got to rest and take care of yourself. Give yourself what you need to feel whole and good each day. You know what that is, right? Drinking healthy liquids, eating right, uh, exercise. Uh, if you can, every morning I get up, I do some squats, a little running in place, and I try to eat what's right. I use good products on my body on a daily basis because people say, Simone, for 46, you really look good. And I got a lot of energy. Don't get it twisted now. I got a lot of energy. I feel like I'm 25. But anyhow, um, I want to share this drink with you. Uh, this has been boiled and, and the leaves have been drained. And this is uh, ginger. For those of you that see the live video and for those of you who can't, you're going to see it. Don't worry. You just follow me, you'll see it. So uh, for those of you that can see the live video, it's uh, fresh ginger here along with a high oxidant of green tea. Um, one of my 
uh, colleagues who works uh, with me in mental health. Uh, she picks up a lot of uh, things for me from certain stores and, and certain organic places. And she just gives it to me because she believes in my health after God has healed me from cancer about five years ago. And I give him the praise and I give him the glory. But uh, this here is uh, ginger and it's uh, green tea to the highest. And look at that. Isn't it a nice big glass? And uh, I'm not going to sip on that now because I might just drink it all in front of you. So make sure you drink it to your health. Um, it's very important to drink uh, organic um you know, teas and things of that nature. For me, fresh peppermint, I actually get it and I, I boil it and I drain it. It's very, very healthy for your skin. Talking about skin products, um, it's all natural here. For those of you that can see the video and some of uh, my dearest friends and, and far and near, uh, I'm giving away as gifts. My, my handmade soap person has made me an abundance. So if you're a special friend of mine, you're going to get something special for this Christmas. This here is baby powder. How many like baby powder? Mm. The smell of baby powder is so good. Uh, this is a baby powder soap that she just made, a fresh batch of it. And believe me, this soap and people who have used the soap that I use, I've given away. They say, Simone, it's amazing. I'm not knocking any of the products you buy or anything that you use. But if you go natural, you'll feel natural and you'll be natural, right? So this is the baby powder soap. And this here is the mango butter. For those of you that can see that, it lathers very well. And she makes me a wonderful peppermint soap as well. And this is mango butter. So, um, hey, always use good products on your skin and uh, shea butters as well i i have a special shea butter that is made for me um and uh, it's whipped shea butter it's not that kind of shea butter that is cheap and you know you buy it from these places that it doesn't feel good on your skin it's all natural and i'm here to tell you that using some of these natural products has really healed some things on my body when i had cancer and i went through radiation it burned my skin in certain areas of my body and i, I met this brother uh, who's into his company, and he said, Simone, I'm going to help you. And ever since that, I have been a loyal customer. And when I walk in his door, he gets excited. And I share the testimony with every customer that comes in here that this product works. So I got that out of the way. So let's now get into the word of the Lord. And I hope that this will be a great uh, Christmas for all of you. Um, make sure that you celebrate the spirit of the season. I know that it's hard for many people during this time of the season because they think it's about gifts, but no, it's really about love. So today, I, I want to talk about um, warning signs and warning lights. Because God always uh, shows us things before it really happens. Now, if you're in tune to the Spirit of God and you have a relationship with God, you know that God speaks to you. If he's not speaking to you, you need to stay on your knees because I know that the Lord speaks to me and he gives me specific instructions for my life. And when you follow the instructions and you follow the signs that God gives you. You don't run down the highway. You don't run into situations that will cause you to be destroyed. So I want to go into the book of Job, uh, Joel, Joel number 2, 12. And it says, for Joel number 2, 12, now therefore says the Lord, turn to me with all of your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Listen here. Did you ever think that for those of you that drive, when that check engine light comes on the dashboard, it needed your immediate attention sometimes and I have done it that's why I have a brand new car not saying my other car was was major problems but I have a brand new one that that th those kind of signs that you see especially the check engine light or other signs that come on your car dashboard it needs your immediate attention and sometimes because of our busy schedules and things that we do we say oh I'll put that off tomorrow I'll take the car tomorrow to the dealer I'll take the car tomorrow to the mechanic and however the next morning when you got up you turned the key on and the car did not start mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about that's a horrible feeling especially when you got to get to work and you got to do other things my first reaction when I saw that warning sign was my frustration knowing that this would mean money and time and inconvenience mm -hmm. some of you know exactly what I'm talking about when you had a situation with your automobile and you got in it and it didn't start and you had to be somewhere and you lost some money that's a terrible feeling my second thought was more of a resolution I need and you need to pay attention to the warning lights and the warning signs that are trying to get your attention about your life and they can mean something 
is wrong. So let me tell you something. If you're having a dark day and, and you're dealing with a whole lot that's heavy on your shoulder and your mind and your spirit, God is giving you warning signs. God is always showing himself to you. But a lot of times we're so caught up in mess and we're so confused and, and we're so weak that we don't even recognize the warning signs. And then when things begin to happen to you, you ask the question, why? But God was trying to show you before it even happened. Look out for the warning lights and the warning signs for this holiday season. Joel 2, 12 through 17, we read that God used the prophet Joel to encourage his people to pay attention to the warning light on their spiritual dashboard. In our spiritual walk with God, we have to pay attention to the warning signs and the lights so we can make changes and, and get off of that highway and exit off of that highway because you don't have to continue in the same direction. Prosperity has caused them to become complacent and negligent in their commitment to God because they did not listen and see the the warning lights, but their faith had de regenerated into empty formalism and their lives into moral bankruptcy. So God sent a locust plague to ruin the crops in order to get his people's attention, causing them to change their behavior and turn to him with their whole heart. So let me just tell you, my brother and sister that is watching this inspiration a moment and hearing my voice on Facebook and YouTube and wherever you are tuned in, that you need to pay attention to the warning signs and the warning lights. That's why not having a job is a warning sign. Uh huh. Sickness is a warning sign. Things that begin to happen to you that knock you off of your feet are warning signs. Let me tell you something. Before I was diagnosed with the cancer that I had, God had given me warning signs and I told some people something is going to happen this year. I didn't know what it was, but my body started making some changes. But let me encourage you. Don't ignore the warning signs. Don't ignore the warning lights because God will caution you to be careful because he wants you to see the green light. He wants you to go forth and prosper and be a blessing to your family and friends and to others. But if you do not, my brother and sister, look at the warning signs and the warning lights. You're going to be damned. You're going to be hurt. You might just die because you've ignored. Thank your father. The warning signs and the warning lights. But what warning lights are flashing? What warning lights are flashing in your life today, may I ask? What needs to be turned up or repaired through confession and repentance? God is asking us before we close out this year's this year as we celebrate his birth that we need to repent. We need to humble ourselves before God and ask him for forgiveness for things that we have done. Some of you know that you have gone through this entire year and you have not been the person that you were supposed to be. You've treated people so nasty and evil and talking about folks. But let me tell you something. You need to ask God for forgiveness. You cannot go into 2016 like that because God is showing up and he's showing you warning signs and he's given you the opportunity to change your life and the lights want to be green if you want a green light you got to get yourself together because the yellow light cautions you that's right and the red light is for you to stop some of us know that we're doing things that's not pleasing in God's sight and God is dealing with Simone Malone on a daily basis and we need to stop it right now we need to stop lying we need to stop cheating we need to stop doing all of these things that's not pleasing in God's sight he's giving us warning signs on a daily basis you wonder why you're not being blessed it's because you ignoring the warning signs and God is trying to tell you something listen conviction is God's warning and light he wants you to give your life to him I want you to stop for a moment and just think about where you are in your life think about have you progressed or you have gone back or you lost some great things that you had we had a different time in our lives now folks we got to work hard and attack all of our obstacles with prayer and enthusiasm and I'm here to encourage you that if you do not watch the warning signs as we wrap up this year you're going to be doomed you're going to be doomed I'm here to tell you the messenger that God has told me you got to get your life together stop procrastinating on your ministry stop procrastinating on things that you need to do pick yourself up and surround yourself with people that care about you and people that believe and can pray you through and you are going to be okay but let me just tell you that in life we're going to deal with some things that's going to 
show us that we need to get ourselves together. God always shows us warning signs, but he gives us an opportunity to get ourselves together again. And I'm encouraging you today, get yourself together again. Know that you have a great gift and that God can use you in a mighty way. Don't leave this year without talking to God and saying, Lord, please, please help me. Help me and guide me. Help me, God, to see the green light because I want to see my way through some situations. I've been suffering. You've been going through this and you've been going through that, but God will give you a green light. You wonder why some people are abundantly blessed. It's because they don't ignore the warning signs and I want you and I'm going to pray that God helps you to see the green light. That's right, but he's going to caution you to stop there. Stop there because God should speak to you and say, you know you're not right and you need to get it together. Father God, I thank you for this word of inspiration that you placed in my heart because God, you have given Simone Malone some warning signs and God, you have stopped me in my tracks and you said, son, get it together and I listen to you, God, and you have blessed me this year. This has been a good year for me and I know that 2016 is going to be a better year and I ask you, Father, to go through Facebook and YouTube and Instagram in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray that you touch our people today and God, I ask you to show up to them, show up at their job, show up in their home, God, show up in their relationship, God, give them, God, a chance to enjoy the bountiful streams of life, God, but God, in the midst of you showing them the warning signs, help them, God, to get their selves together, because God, you want us to enjoy life, and you want us to have great opportunities, and you want us to have wholesome relationships with people, but God, I ask you right now to help us, God, to see the warning signs, help our people not to ignore what you want them to do for their life, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, if you believe God with me, say amen, there you have it, the inspiration, a moment I'm telling you, I feel Jesus in this studio, that there are warning signs that you must not ignore, God might stop you in your tracks, because there could be death coming to you, the death angels could be coming to you, but God said, no, 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 not now for him, not now for her, because he has a great work for you to do, there you have it, the inspirational moment, warning signs, warning signs, God will always give you a warning sign, please, whatever you do during this holiday season, and as we wrap up this year, don't ignore the warning signs, don't ignore the warning lights, some of us know that when we drive, we go through lights, and we don't stop, we don't look, you know what I'm saying, that's why they're there, to protect us, and guide us, and give us direction, and that's what is your word is for, open up the word of God, it will speak to your life, God is always speaking to us, so don't, whatever you do, don't ignore the warning signs and the warning stops right here at FMHDMS. I hope you enjoyed this inspirational moment. Tell everybody about this radio station. Tell everybody about this inspirational moment because this word will help you in your development because I know God has some great things planned for you for 2016. You just have to have the faith and believe it that God is going to do it for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Have a super great one. There you have it, the inspirational moment. Warning signs and warning lights. God will always show himself to you.